<laughs> All right, I can bet you've been in a similar situation before. Picture this. I'm talking to somebody. Doesn't matter who. What matters is that as you're listening to what the guy's saying to you, you suddenly realize, wait, this guy's completely incorrect. What in the flying fuck is he talking about? <laughs> and I have this feeling inside of you. This this, this voice that's commanding you, screaming at you to correct the guy. And, and that's normal. That's healthy, that's healthy behavior. And that's what you end up doing, right? You tell him, hey, dude, you're actually incorrect. It's actually this, 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 this. And guess what you just did there? We have subconsciously triggered his defense system. Now, now he feels attacked. The guy you've just corrected, now he feels like he's in danger because you know, guess what? He has to protect his self-esteem. <laughs> so of course he's going to come up with excuses, explanations, and all that stuff to why he thinks the way he thinks. And here's the thing. You can give him any scientific reason as to why you are correct. You can give him thousands of different examples and applications of why your point of view and your opinion is 20 times better. And you still don't convince him. It's like, you can tell just by the way the guy looks, even if you are correct, where he's just like, yeah, yeah, maybe you're right. You can just tell he isn't actually convinced. But have you ever sat down and thought, why this happens in the first place? Well, I actually have an explanation for this. We're going to talk exactly why you can't win an argument. And here's the thing. Let's start off with a quote from an Italian philosopher who lived in the 1600s. His name is Galileo. You can look him up on Google. He actually, he's actually a pretty fucking smart guy if you're into old school guys. In one of his public speeches, he said a quote, which for the most part explains everything we're going to talk about today. You can't teach a man anything. Wait, fuck, actually, let me look at the book. <laughs> let me look at the book where I found it. You can't teach a man anything. You can only help him find it within himself. So where does that lead us? What does that mean? The golden thing, the, the, the key to winning an argument doesn't exist. This is the thing. This is the thing you have to understand to be a good conversationalist. There's, you can't win an argument, bro. You can't. You know why? Because let's go back to the story from the beginning of the video, right? Let's hypothetically say that you were wrong. You've corrected the guy for something which he was actually right about. Guess what? You lose, right? Your point was actually wrong. You've embarrassed yourself in front of that guy. Now he's subconsciously thinking of himself as superior to you because you've just proved to him that he's smarter. <laughs> Seems a little, sounds a little bit toxic, but if you think about it, that's the way we think, right? But guess what? Even if you were right about the topic, as I said, no matter how many different scientific reasons you come up with to explain to him why you are correct, he still won't listen for the most part because you've hurt his self-esteem. You've hurt his confidence. He won't admit that he's right because he wants to protect his ego. He doesn't want to come around as the worst guy. You know what I mean? This is why when you argue with your siblings about <laughs> whose turn for video games is it, your little brother will never admit it. He knows, but he wants to play more. I actually don't have siblings, but <laughs> I know several motherfuckers who do. And you know how this story goes. It's a simple concept, but it applies to all arguments. So based on what we just talked about, you can kind of figure out what's the best way to win an argument. That's simply to avoid it. Literally, there isn't, <laughs> there isn't a better way to win an argument than to avoid it in the first place because... You know that 99% of the time, it won't get you anywhere. Sorry, my bad, bro. My eyes fucked up. <laughs> if the argument won't get you anywhere, then why get into it in the first place? It's just going to be a waste of time for the most part. 
Now, of course, there are some very specific circumstances where you obviously want to correct the guy. Let's say you're working on a group project at school or some shit like that, and the guy miscalculates the equation. You're not going to come at him. Now that you've watched this video, you're not going to just go up to him and be like, Hey, yo, you're incorrect. You're a stupid little fucking bitch. Why the fuck are you in our group? Get the fuck out before I kick your ass up. You're not going to talk like this. <laughs> Damn, I'm so unfunny. But back to the topic. The way, you, the way you're going to correct people now, do, do it with at least a little bit of respect. And don't just come at the guy and, you know, completely shatter his confidence just because he's incorrect. No. When somebody's mindset is negative about doing something, their work efficiency drops significantly. So you don't want to do that. The thing is, when you correct somebody, but you start with something in the lines of, hey man, I may be wrong, but isn't the answer to this equation actually 69? Something like that. You get the general idea. It doesn't have to be so formal as I'm trying, as I just put it right now, but... How are you going to defend yourself against that? <laughs> like, think about for a second. How, how in the world and the universe are you going to start an argument with somebody? If, if you're speaking to him in such a respectful manner. This is the Kobe Bryant fadeaway of running an argument. Or starting a conversation in general. It's the unstoppable fucking move. Once you, once you start a conversation. Or sorry. Once you correct somebody. In such a formal, a nice way. They won't instantly attack you. They don't see you as the foe anymore. You don't come around in their subconscious mind as an enemy. Therefore, they're more likely to listen. And therefore, they're more likely to admit that they're wrong. You think this doesn't affect you, but oftentimes, bro, when I, when I look at people my age and just people in general, the way they run an argument is so stupid because... It's not really an argument. There isn't even a conversation. They're not actually listening to what they have to say between each other. They're just... One is vomiting his aggressive thoughts. The other one's vomiting his aggressive thoughts. And it's just a cycle of who's louder. Who's the loudest person in the room. You know that doesn't get you anywhere. So use what I said in this video, right? And I promise you. Who knows? Maybe I've saved you from a potential from a potential trouble. You'll never know. But hey, now, now you know what to do in a situation like this. Alright, buddy. I don't have anything else to say in this video. If you like the way I talk, you can check out some of my other videos if you like. I'll see you in the next one.